guys so in one, uh, my previous video we made this beautiful bracelet in christmas colors i haven't put the clasp yet i just finished it and we're going to make a ring to match this ring is from that goes with this bracelet and we're going to make a ring for this one this is a spiral cellini it's a beautiful beautiful ring it looks amazing so we're going to make this ring now for the materials what you're going to need you're going to need two colors of 11 seed beads i'm using toho red and green like i did for my bracelet you're going to need Edo. Uh, i'm using toho as well you're going to need 20 uh, 20 of these you're going to need some um whatever you used on the bracelet but if you're gonna uh if you're gonna make only the ring you can use rondel two or three millimeters or bicones but the bigger the um, the middle one the higher the more it will pop for example on this one i used two so the the 3d effect let me just move it a bit it's not so big on this one so it's just a little bit but on this one which i used bigger the 3d effect is a little bigger now if i would have used the bigger one it would be if it was the bigger one it would be even more okay so we will be needing uh rondel bicones whatever you're going to use and we will need delica 11 or delicas uh for the bracelet we only used on this areas on these two areas like the ending but for the ring we're going to be using more because we're going to make all this band with delicas so we're going, you're gonna need more delicas okay so let's get started we will start exactly as we did with the bracelet meaning we will be picking up two let me see if i can zoom out a little bit like so so we're gonna be picking up two red two green two red two arrows and two bicones or rondel or what, whatever you choose for your ring See if my lighting is okay this is how you start now we're going to pull this down to our tail but we're going to leave a little bit more of tail because we're going to have to work this as well as for the bracelet so we're just going to have to leave not as much as for the bracelet but you're going to have to leave some tail in and i'm putting it like so and i'm holding it like this so we can start our rig where you see you have your rondelle or your bicons over here let me just zoom in a little bit first off you're gonna be picking one arrow and with peyote you're gonna go into the second uh, rondelle or bicon or whatever you are using next up you're going to be picking one rondelle skip the first arrow go through the second arrow next up pick one pick one arrow and go through the second red next up pick up one red i need to move mine from here a little bit closer so pick up one uh, red we're not working with delica yet so if i say red it means the toho seed bead delica i'm just gonna call delica like so and for the last one we're gonna go with one green and we're gonna go through the last red and this is what we have so far this is how it looks <coughs> now here i like to make a knot to secure my work one and two okay and now i can i don't need to uh, strang st strangulate my finger anymore so, <coughs> sorry so this is what we have so far now when we go down as for the bracelet we will go with the bead we're going in when we go up with the bead we're coming out from so now we're going into a green with a green 
Next up, we're going in red with one red. I don't know how my lighting. I'm just gonna try to hold it like so. Now we're going into an eight-o. So we're gonna go with one eight-o. Now we're going to go into a rondelle. So we're gonna go with a rondelle. Eight-o. So we're gonna pick up an eight-o. Now we have to choose. This is what we have next. We have to go with the, our next. Uh, with our next row now we have to make on this side exactly like this one so we're gonna have one row of red one of green one of red so now we're going to pick up a red so we pick up one red bead and we're gonna go up through the eight row. now when we go up we go with the bead we're coming out from so eight row pick up a needle and we go through the rondelle now we're coming on from a rondelle so we're gonna go with the rondelle through the eight-o now an eight-o so we pick up an eight-o and we go through the red now we have a red so we're gonna go with a red like so now when we go down we're gonna go in with the bead we're going into so it's red next up it's an eight oh now it's going to be a rondelle next up an eight oh next up one red and now we have to put the for the other row which is a green so we're going to be picking up a green and we're going to go up through the red now we put a red because we're coming out from a red and we're going up next up is going to be an arrow next up is a rondelle Next, and the last one for this row, it's an eight-o. This is how it looks so far. Now we're going down, so we're going to go with an eight-o, because we're going to pick up the beads that we're uh, going into. Now we're on there. Now an eight-o. Now a red. now green and the next row is going to be a red like on this side so we'll go up with red now green red eight oh rondelle and this is how it looks so far now we're going down so we're gonna go with the bead that we're going into so we're gonna be picking up on the rondelle and going into the rondelle next up an eight oh now red green Sorry, that was my tail. And red. Okay, now if you look, we are exactly like on this side. Sorry. So we are exactly as on this side. What we have here, we have here. So as we do on this side, exactly the same we're going to do on this side. It's all the same. So we're going to be picking up one Delica and go through the red now we're going to finish this and when it comes to a new row 
So we finished this, we're not going to store in a row, we're just going to go with Delica. So now we go with red, green, red, Edo, and now we're co going down, so we're going to go with an Edo. Red, green, sorry, green, red, and the last one is going to be a delica. So I'm going to go with a delica. Now for the next row, again a delica because all the new rows have Delica and again Delica and now we have the old rows so we have red green red now we are going down so we're going to be picking up a red and going through the red, a green, into the green, now another red, and now we're at the Delica uh, part. So we're going to pick up Delica and we go through the Delica, another Delica. And for the next row, again, we're going to go just with Delica. And another Delica. And another one. Now we're going to go with red because uh, we need to finish our spirals. Now with green. Now when we go down, we have green, red, and the rest that we're going to do down will be Delica only. Now again, we go with Delica for our next row. Like so, and now we pick up a red. So now going down, we pick up another red. From here on out, we're just going to work with delicas. On this other side, you're going to do exactly the same. You're going to do this round here, and then just with delica. Now, you're going to do a band. This is going to be your band. See. So you're going to make this side and then this side. And then you're going to work only delicas all around. Now, when you're going to be like, okay, I think this is my size, you're gonna put it on your finger like so, like I don't have enough, but you're gonna put it like so, hold it with the two with both your fingers and see if it if it's uh, enough for your finger, and then you can um uh know that okay it's enough. So when you have this, when you put it around and you say, okay, it's enough for me, we're going to come back and I'm going to show you how to close it. So make your this other side, make your band, fit it uh, the size of your finger, how big you want it to be, and then we come back and we close it up. Okay, so I finished off my ring. This is how I did it. So I did one side, I finished the amount of amount of thread I had and then I took I went to the other side I finished the amount of thread I had there and for me it was enough 
for the uh, length of the the ring so you should try that as well maybe you don't don't have to add more thread now when you think it's enough you're just going to put it on your finger like so hold it with these two fingers and turn it around and if here like like so if here it's enough if it closes like if it's uh, like so then you're like okay this is enough length i'm good with it what you need to make sure is that the sides are complementary so that when you put them together they fit how it's a very easy way to do that is to leave in your tails see my one of the tail is on this side and one is on this side so when you put the, this together you see like so when you put them together you see that they they match like they go one in the other this is how you're going to uh, know that see if one tail is up one tail is down you, you know for sure that they go together now in one of the tails i have my needle and now we need to uh, put these two together so i'm going to put my both of my hands like so let me just zoom in a little bit so i have my hands like so and you see that here it, this one is up and this is down so i'm going to go on this side like so then i'm gonna go on the top bead from this other side i'm not going to pull very hard because i'm gonna pull at the end and then i'm gonna go on the top bead from this side sorry I hit my phone and now I'm going to go on the top bit from this side like I'm going to go zigzag on the top beads of each side making sure I'm not uh, going into others or that I'm pulling in my thread or anything now I'm gonna go in this one now in this one this one and in the last one here so i went in zigzag now if i spread it just a little bit to show you this is how it looks you see i went in zigzag from one to another now i have my two threads coming out of here and what i'm going to do i'm going to pull my thread hard so that it sticks everything nicely together this is why it's very good to use delica because delica fits in very nicely now uh, i like to make knots for these two like this is one the end one of the ending this is the other one i'm going to make some knots make two knots like so and i'm going to work in my thread like so i'm going to try to work it in so that it's secured and that it doesn't um it doesn't uh get loose or break or anything just going to go several beads here and there and when i am safe that okay this is secure enough so you don't even see it this is how nice delica works you don't even see the thread i'm just going to cut it making sure i don't cut the other one as well because this other one as well i'm going to work in and that's it this is how the ring looks okay this is the tail that i'm gonna work in this is how it's the bottom part it's very comfortable even if it's a little bit uh, wider like bigger it's extremely comfortable and it looks amazing let me just zoom out so this is the ring and the bracelet so this is how this set looks i went for the ring with the uh, red sides because on the bracelet is more green and i think it looks amazing so hopefully you liked it hopefully you enjoyed it. hopefully you're going to make many of them for you for gifts for anyone that uh, <laughs> uh or if for so to sell however you want uh if you like my work please like comment subscribe all the good stuff and um enjoy beating